Um, still to come, Richard Hammond and his co-star Tori Balecci will be explaining why he's all washed up. And a far cry at some point. Uh, time now to meet our next guest. Please welcome Richard Hammond and his fellow castaway Tori Balecci. Oh, evening, hello. folks. Good hello, to see guys. you. Hello, hello. Uh, so, hello. So, so, Tori, uh, you're well known in, obviously, in America for presenting Mythbusters. Uh, but now you've ended up stranded with Richard Hammond <laughs> on a desert island. I mean, do you want to tell us a little bit about the concept for the show, the greatest... <laughs> Escapist. <laughs> Did sound yeah. bad, Richard, didn't it? it was, Sorry it about was, that. It was, I think it was his excuse just to torture me. <laughs> well, it must have been. Did you enjoy was, doing it? it? It was the most challenging but most rewarding experience I've ever been through. And to work with Richard Hammond, who I was a huge fan before we even met, um, it was like a dream come true. Absolutely nice. dream come true. You did look like you had a lot of fun, but it is a bit weird for us in the UK, Richard, to see you with a new friend in tow. Now, yeah. how did Jeremy and James feel about this? Oh, man, they were <laughs> so jealous. They still are <laughs> seething. They won't, talk to <laughs> won't return my... But, I mean, you see, look at, look at him. He's No, he's good-looking. He's funny. He's American, which makes... Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're, they're so jealous. It's horrible. I feel really bad. I think oh. I've broken their hearts. Well, let's take a look then, uh, because Jermaine, mm. you saw the clip and you thought, yeah, I'm in. I'm didn't a fan. I'm a so big fan. Here you are. Okay, what are you going to do? You! You want war? Ah! Yeah! If you're a war, you'll never forget. What is that? This is the heavy office division. <laughs> Both gone mad. Oh, come on. What is not to like about that? <laughs> oh, mate, love it. Um, so, Richard, on a scale of Tom Hanks in Castaway, um, you know, how kind of Tom Hanks were you? Or was there, like, a nice hotel you went to round the corner after filming? Oh, it's a deadly serious endeavour. I mean, in terms of filming it, no. Well, we decided, because uh, it's my company that made it, and it was like, big thing for us and we better get this right and we thought well it's no good if Tori and I are standing on a beach saying oh no we've been shipwrecked what are we going to do when there's somebody going behind us on a jet ski so we thought well let's do it on a proper deserted island so we did didn't we and it was um it was it was kind of really tough it well we, we still really haven't got to the heart of what this <laughs> really, show is really so tough. so you two are stranded <laughs> on this beautiful <laughs> island right yes well what I mean okay it came about very quickly I wanted to do a pop science show. So, you know, I, I kind of showed some science in. And by the way, with this one, we've solved all your homeschooling problems. Just put this on. And that's science. Yeah. We're going yeah. to trick you into learning. <laughs> yeah, we are. So I wanted to find, we wanted to find the right way to dress that up. What situation would give us cause to need to turn to what scientific and engineering knowledge we have to survive? And then we thought, wait a minute, if we were stranded on a desert island, but eventually found the ship that we'd been shipwrecked in. We'd have loads of bits of stuff to make stuff that we needed um, and to try and not only survive, but Tori, here it comes, mate. Surprise. Surprise. Everybody hates that. Don't Everybody ever say that word again, me. Richard, please. Yep. I'm going to keep wheeling that out. Don't worry. Not only survive, but surprise. <laughs> so it, it's about... It's about us getting by on an island with just the two of us and whatever we can salvage from the boat. And you're sort of acting extreme versions of yourself, really. Now, I mean, Tori, we don't know you in this part of the world yet. Um, yes. But I, we were wondering, you know, how hard was that? I mean, cause Richard, you, you're always an extreme version of yourself, really, aren't you? No. Oh, I had to take that. No, oh, no do you know what I mean? Good point. That is a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not it, it was, I would have to say, it was probably the most terrifying moment because, you know, Richard and I had met once uh, when I went over to London while we were developing the show. And so we were there, I was there for a week and we got to, you know, get to know each other, but it wasn't until the day we were on the beach and all the Amazon executives were standing around and they were looking at us that we both realized, we're like, 
this might not work. Like I've never worked with this guy before. <laughs> and they were like, okay, roll cameras now, be entertaining, go. I'm sure it's going to be incredible. I can't wait to see it, lads. But uh, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. We will do. We uh, will do. The Grape Escapist uh, uh, launches on Friday the 29th of January on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, we